Assalamualaikum and uh, good afternoon. Um, I think good afternoon because I'm recording during the afternoon. Right. Uh, we will continue with the three most important topics still on the dynamic field. However, today we will look at uh, two things. All right. One is device sizing. Also, the and out. I will split this uh, notes into part one and part two. Okay. So far, we already cover this topic. And you almost done this in your uh, assignment. Yeah, in your assignment, you proceed with this one. So you already covered this topic in the assignment. So, so we play around with the width size and to meet the requirements okay uh, then today i would like to focus on the topic yeah called dy sizing what is dy sizing actually yeah this is the dy sizing So, bring back these equations. TP is ln to R equivalent cell where TP can be TPHL or TPLH. So, from these equations, we will generate this equation by considering that CL is also conceived of C intrinsics and C extrinsics. What is intrinsics? Intrinsics is the diffusion capacitance, which is uh, overlap capacitance, constant kick capacitance, and all the milieu effect. Okay, both proportional to the size of the transistor okay and extrinsic is considering the wirings and fan out okay um, so I will show you how to generate this equation based on the propagation delay equations long to R equivalency L is equivalent to ln to a equivalent CL. Then we notice that CL consider the C intrinsic and also C extrinsic. So, how can we apply these two parameters into propagation delay equation? So, from 1, okay, we write the equation TP is equivalent to ln 2. R equivalent CL. Then instance shades C in and C extrinsics. Sub 
substitutes into CL. So, CX ring 6 plus C in ring 6. So, you can simplify these equations by written off this equation as ln 2 are equivalent C in 1 plus C at 3 6 over C in that's the reason why we will write this equation as equation 2. Because later on, we'll be using these equations to instantiate into defining the optimum propagation delay and also to find the number of stages and fan out value. So, this is the final equation. Back to previous equations, we have this TP ln two. This is also called as ln two. So I will instantiate this value, okay, and I will show you how can we set up for the equations, okay. So based on the equations that are already generated for equation in equation two, which is ln two, uh equivalent C in 1 plus C X ring 6 over C in we can then from 1 which is DP is claimed as ln 2 are equivalent C in TPO. Claim TPO, ln 2 are equivalent C in, where this is considered as there's no C at string 6 is claimed as 0. Meaning that at that's why we claim as zero propagation delay when C at ring 6 is zero. Then we can rewrite these equations as TP ln 2 R equivalent. not very friendly it's the pen not really like me actually I don't know why still have to be nice to the tablet and the pen okay so we we'll write these equations as TPO One plus CX ring six over CX ring six. So we already 
get a new equation. I can't call this equation as equation. So, look at the previous note. Then, we already obtain this part. Yeah? This is a highlight here. Highlight this as the negative color. Then the and now we want to understand factor S reduces R equivalent. So we continue with another equation we write the equation back as long to equivalent C in then TP is TPO one plus C extra six our C in Therefore, we can expand the equations by rewrite ln 2 r equivalent c in 1 plus c extra 6 over c in. Therefore, in these equations, we will use that two parameters C in is considered as S C in reference. So we have to look at, at the sizing factor. We call sizing factor or S. Meanwhile, the R equivalent is considered as RF over S. So we have another equation. So we will have to instantiate these two equations into the what we call just now as the third equation. Then put it in the next slide. So by using the equations now P is 
line 2 R equivalent is no longer R equivalent R ref over X then C in is also for S C in ref equations you can simplify this equation as ln 2 okay cancel out this part cancel out this part ref c in ref and 1 plus at string 6 over S C in F. So from here we can understand that TPO is always depends sizing. Get. If no load, load, it will increase the So, we look at back the equations. Now, we understand all this term which is associated with the CL. Back to last view. So we cover this topic already. So now we will look at, at sizing impacts. So you must understand that when the sizing is getting increased, the TPD proportion delay will getting smaller. However, when the sizing as parameters okay, is getting increased or the um, sizing factor is increased meaning that it also influence the propagation delay so the propagation delay will be increased that's why we have to play around or have to make sure our justification on the design on the width yeah with size so because it affects the, the propagation delay later on in part 2 I will show you regarding the topic on fan out of the delay so I will stop for a while before I continue with another uh, lectures for Turn out on the delay. So this is part one. Part two will continue later. Okay. So all the best. Stay safe and bye.